Sports Media presents Inside the Huddle. Brought to you by Otterbox. Otterbox. Inside the Huddle is filmed live on location at the House of Blues in downtown Dallas. Downtown Dallas. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Inside the Huddle. Inside the Huddle. Welcome into Inside the Huddle. I am your host, Jane Slater, and I've got my guest here, <laughs> Joe Looney, center for the Dallas Cowboys, and it looks like he's going to also be my hype man tonight, so I appreciate that. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! One more round. Let's go. <laughs> we have got some amazing sponsors, and we appreciate so many of them for helping make this show possible. We are presented tonight by Otterbox, and who doesn't love Otterbox protecting their phone? How many times do you get just the broken screens and drop in the iPhone. How many do you go through? Oh, I go through about 10 phones a year, especially having two kids. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nightmare, you know? They're breaking my phone every other day. You know, as a reporter, we get to interview various players uh, about the storylines and the hits of the week. But it's, we don't get the opportunity to really get to know some of these players. And one of the players that I've really gotten a chance to get to know and just have a blast hanging out with is this guy, Joe Looney. You are so much fun. You are so light. and. Typically during the season, it can get heavy for the guys. You know, this mm -hmm. is livelihood. This is your body that you're putting on the line. But you maintain an element of levity in the locker room. Where does that come from, Joe? Oh, man, you know, I think, uh, you know, football is a great sport. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, I look at it as a, it's a game. And, um, you know, whether you win or lose, you got to go out there and have a good time. You know, I mean, those moments on the field, you know, you're with your brothers out there. Those are the moments you're going to remember, you know, and you don't want to ruin them by, you know, thinking, oh, we lost this game or, you know, by getting too high, you know, winning the game. So, um, you know, I always put that in the back of my mind that football's a game and I'm going to go out there and have fun and enjoy it. Now, obviously this year, this offensive line is sort of the foundation of how the Cowboys have built this organization and it is really led to an effective run game. It's been huge for the quarterback, but taking some hits this year, uh, something so unexpected at the center position, Travis Frederick diagnosed with an autoimmune disorder and such an odd injury because unlike breaking your foot or having an ACL tear, you have sort of a, a timeline of when a player is gonna come back. With Travis, there is no time frame, And right. I think perhaps even scarier, him talking about the fact he still doesn't have feeling in his in his arms and his legs fast forward the team announces that you're now going to be the starting center mm -hmm. what's going through your mind you know when I heard it that I was going to be playing it was just you know hey I'm, I'm ready for this role you know I prepared for it I've been a backup for a long time and uh, you know thankfully enough I sat next to one of the best guys to do it in the league and Travis and uh, you know just every week preparing myself next to him and ready to step up to the plate and hit that home run there you go. And what's, <laughs> what's it like, you know, for a lot of these guys that are career backups that are sitting in the room, you have to stay ready. You never know when you're going to come into the game. How hard is that to stay motivated? Yeah. So, you know, it's our job. That's our job. And um, we got to be ready to go whenever the team needs us. Like I say all the time, you know, I'm going to do whatever I can to help the team, whether it's going in for field goal and blocking guys or, you know, if I need to give Coach Garrett a glass of water, you know, to help him call some plays. That's what I'm going to do. And um, so, you know, you just always got to be ready and, you know, you got to focus. It's your job. So it's your job to be ready when your number's called. All right. Well, when we come back here on Inside the Huddle, we are just getting started. So many fun stories as it pertains to you, Joe, and I want them to get to know you as well as I've enjoyed getting to know you in the last couple of years. So stick around. Inside the Huddle will be right back. Ooh, that's a good one. Hold still, hold still. Give me that sunscreen. Big smile. Why are you breathing so hard?
all want to eat healthy, but eating enough fruits and vegetables every day is not only time consuming, it's expensive. That's why at Texas Superfood, we've created a blend of the best USDA organic fruits, vegetables, powerful enzymes, probiotics, and all natural herbs in a convenient capsule or a powder. We call it Texas Superfood Complete Organic. If you can't, won't, or don't eat all of your fruits and vegetables every day, Texas Superfood Complete Organic makes eating healthy easy. Go to TexasSuperfood.com today. Stellar Home Theater brings every touchdown to your home with amazing audio and video clarity. Top brands like Epson, Screen Innovations, Control 4, and more. Get a free audio upgrade and remote with every home theater purchase. Buy an Epson laser projector and SI Black Diamond screen and get the Dolby Atmos audio experience free. Call or sign up for a free consultation in the next 24 hours and you're entered to win Inside the Huddle TV show tickets. Visit our five locations or sign up at livestellarnow.com. Stellar Home Theater, the ultimate home cinema experience. your host Jane Slater joined by Cowboy Center Joe Looney and you're getting to know you a little bit more so we're going to continue to deep dive Please I always please. like to ask the questions that I feel like some of the fans might have of you guys since I've got you here a captive audience oh yeah what does a typical day look like for you guys during the week because I don't think people really realize when your day starts when it ends how much prep goes into these games okay so um <clears throat> Wednesdays and Thursdays are usually our long days in the NFL. That's, I call those our work days. Those are the days we're actually showing up to work. And um, usually it'll start at about, you know, six o'clock in the morning. You come in and uh, you get your lift in, do cardio. Well, if you're skinny, you do cardio. <laughs> um, and then so 7.30, we're in meetings. And um, till about 11.30, when we go out on the field for practice, practice for two hours in this Texas heat, which is wonderful. <laughs> it's good times. <laughs> And then uh, after that, after practice, we get to interact with the media. You know, we get to see beautiful Jane in the locker room. Now, do you so. enjoy when the media comes in there? Because we're standing around in there in the locker room for a good hour. Just mosey. And I, I just be honest. I know you guys want us out of there. <laughs> get out. Just get out. <laughs> no, I love it. I get to talk to you guys. You, know? you guys listen to me, too. You know, you guys stand in front of me. You guys listen. So, But um, after that, then uh, the best part of the day is uh, lunch get to sit at lunch have a good time and we got so the old line we have our own we have our own table at lunch and I mean you know you got to be a somebody to sit there and uh you know if it's the old line and friends as I'd like to call it you know so if you were like a Jason Witten or you know a Dak Prescott Ezekiel Elliott if you pass everything on the list you get to sit at the old line table it's like high school oh yeah and then when you get home you're still a dad and a husband so oh, yeah. how hard is it to sort of juggle that dynamic during the year well, I tell a lot of guys on the tip football is easy this is the easy part of the day when you get home and your little girl runs through that you know runs up to you is like daddy daddy be a chicken <laughs> and you got to go right in the character <laughs> and you can't you just got to go right in there You're, mark, 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 mark. come here baby <laughs> <laughs> and she runs upstairs, and you're like, oh, man, please don't go upstairs today. <laughs> but you got, you got to jump right into character and do it. So when you actually get an off day, which I guess is technically Monday, so that's why we appreciate you joining us here at House of Blues, what are you doing on the off day? Do you decompress? Are you tuning into any sports? Are you, do you want to hear it? Or are you just... That's that's Joe time. Oh yeah, that's 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 you know that's family time is what I like to call it. And um, you know if you got kids again, um, you know you're gonna be watching Finding Nemo. <laughs> you're gonna you know Moana is gonna be on that television, <laughs> and you gotta like it. You know no matter what. And I'm I'm a sing along guy, so you know I'm sitting there Moana, make way, make way. <laughs> hey yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's yes. Go. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, you just, I, I like to just sit and relax. All right, when we come back here on Inside the Huddle, we are going to dig a little bit deeper here with Joe Looney. I'm already learning so much that I didn't know about you. Inside the Huddle, stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Manning, I'm a big fan. Do you mind? Yeah, sure. Come on. Thanks. Thank you. Ready and... I know how he feels. I know how you feel. Pop up. Pop up. 
Enjoy your hike. Enjoy your hike. Very sorry. My name's Joshua Jones, and my story began probably like a lot of yours are right now, where I was in dental pain, and I had several options, but I'd heard the amazing reputation of Dr. Lee and his staff and Crystal Creek Dental, and so I decided to move forward with dental implants and use them, and I'm glad I did. I can't say enough good things about them. Uh, Dr. Lee's great. Not only am I out of pain, I feel good about my smile. Love Dr. Lee. Love the, uh, the staff at Crystal Creek Dental, and uh, I highly recommend them. Do you have old collections appearing as new collections on your credit report? This is a common tactic used by creditors and junk debt buyers. Did you know when they changed the date making that collection account look new, that tactic is illegal and they broke the law? Our computer system has been holding creditors accountable to the law for over a decade. If this is happening to you or someone you know, or you just like to have a consultation to find out what you can do to improve your score, call DNG Credit LLC, the Credit Cops, here to protect and serve your credit score. It was Thursday on the open sea, and the day was a big one. First order of business, waking up with a splash. Tiptoed across the Caribbean. Brunched on a burger. Conquered Grand Cayman. Found myself starring in a game show. No big deal. Wow, that's a keeper. Then polished off the night with Lingrini. Now it's off to bed. Another big day tomorrow. the huddle before we dig back into getting to know you joe let's talk about Dak prescott your quarterback we've got a big event coming up for him october 22nd benefiting the single parents foundation you can find tickets online and eveningwithdak.com you won't want to miss that i think we're expecting 400 people there but like i said the coolest aspect of this obviously we're going to deep dive with Dak, but we're raising money for single parent foundation right. such a worthy foundation we had alan hearns here a couple weeks ago talking about how rough his upbringing was what an amazing mom he had joe when we start talking about football obviously it's one thing to play it you're focused on your team but how much time do you have to sort of be a fan of the game you keep up with you know what they're doing how they're playing you know different techniques that they're doing and whatnot but i think the big difference is uh college football i think everybody keeps up with college football when we're at our team meals and whatnot and uh you know it's 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 a better feeling than getting a win in the nfl when your college just dominates somebody else's university so who's I the think, cockiest guy in there because there's a couple of ohio state guys you know you got rod you got zeke from ohio state you've got jalen notre dame so what are some of the bigger rivalries in the locker room so i would definitely say the uh the USC Notre Dame rivalry is big. Uh, Tyron Smith, Zach Martin in our room, and uh, yeah, the Ohio State. You know, I mean, those guys are always winning, so you know, <laughs> you can't say anything to them. Right. <laughs> You're just like, oh, just be quiet. You know, you guys are all right. You're not that good. So how uh, how well did obviously Connor Williams, a Texas guy, he's the rookie on the O lineman. I can't imagine he was talking too much trash to Tyron Smith of USC when Texas beat SC recently. You know what? He uh, he surprised me. This is oh. this is a great story about Connor. So um, I think it was when was this? I think it was a preseason game. Uh, it was the last, maybe the last or last preseason game, and um, we're all sitting down at breakfast that morning. And uh, Tyron sits down, and Connor casually looks over at Tyron Smith. I mean, if you don't know Tyron Smith, he I mean he looks like a Greek god, like he looks like Achilles, and um, he looks at him and was like. So what happened to USC? Whoa! <laughs> you know, so was there just... sort of a pause at the table? I can't believe the rookie sort of piped up like that. Oh yeah, we all started laughing just because it was just like <laughs> the boldness, the boldness of this kid. <laughs> Tyron, don't do anything, man. He loves you. He really loves you. <laughs> so yeah, it was great. How chippy does it even get in practice for you guys? Because we saw the d defensive linemen and the offensive linemen really mix it up at training camp. How, because you got the offensive line group, you guys are such, you talked about how close you guys are in the cafeteria, but you're such a tight-knit group. Right. How much, and you guys take a lot of pride in that offensive line. 
how chippy does it get out there? I mean, you got Demarcus Lawrence on one side of the ball. But, uh, you know, and they got these whole things, oh, we're the hot boys and all this stuff. It's just like, man, <laughs> calm that down. We don't... What, is, what does the old lineman think of that? I mean, you know, when do I... you guys have a name for yourselves? We don't, but I got asked about it in training camp, and uh, the first thing I thought about was, hey, we're the fat boys. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? We're going to own it. Well, you are special, and we have got another segment to hang out with you. So if you will, stick around for Inside the Huddle. We'll be right back with Joe Looney here. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. That's a good one. Look, look what you've done. I think you got it. Stellar Home Theater brings every touchdown to your home with amazing audio and video clarity. Top brands like Epson, Screen Innovations, Control 4, and more. Get a free audio upgrade and remote with every home theater purchase. Buy an Epson laser projector and SI Black Diamond screen and get the Dolby Atmos audio experience free. Call or sign up for a free consultation in the next 24 hours and you're entered to win Inside the Huddle TV show tickets. Visit our five locations or sign up at livestellarnow.com. Stellar Home Theater, the ultimate home cinema experience. We all want to eat healthy, but eating enough fruits and vegetables every day is not only time consuming, it's expensive. That's why at Texas Superfood, we've created a blend of the best USDA organic fruits, vegetables, powerful enzymes, probiotics, and all natural herbs in a convenient capsule or a powder. We call it Texas Superfood Complete Organic. If you can't, won't, or don't eat all of your fruits and vegetables every day, Texas Superfood Complete Organic makes eating healthy easy. Go to TexasSuperfood.com today. joined by Joe Looney, center for the Dallas Cowboys. Joe, when you first got into the league, talk about your initial impressions. You were playing for the 49ers. Mm -hmm. What was it like going and playing for that organization? Well, uh, it was it was uh, it was unreal. Um, you know, to when I walked into the league, you know, I, I was considered to be on one of the best offensive lines there. And um, you know, I remember Coach Harbaugh, you know, calling everybody in. Okay, the ones are up. They go in there. And, I mean, you just see this chaos happening. And uh, you're just standing back there waiting your turn. And it's just like, oh, please don't call me to go in there. And, uh, you know, it's just it, – it just – it was – it was unbelievable to see professionals, you know, doing it at that level. And uh, so, you know, I loved it. You know, we had some great guys out there. And um, San Francisco was great. You know, the city was wonderful. And uh, great food and whatnot out there. You know, naturally, I have I found all the good food spots. Uh, but, yeah, I had a great time. And you guys made it all the way to the NFC Championship that year. Yeah, so my rookie year. My rookie year, we actually went to the Super Bowl. Oh, wow. Yeah, talk about being spoiled. Making it to... <laughs> You know, oh, this is the NFL? <laughs> Why not? Give me some more popcorn. I'll sit back and relax. But, uh, yeah, we made it to the Super Bowl. Um, unfortunately, we didn't win. But, um, you know, uh, just being there, being there, experiencing a Super Bowl was just, it was, it was unbelievable. Uh, you know, having all my family, being able to come there and, you know, see the halftime concerts and just to hear them talk about it, you know, to this day, is just, it's, it's amazing. So. How hard is that to have that sort of success? Because in this league, it is so hard to get to that championship game. Um, the NFL is a tough league. It's hard. It's so hard to win on Sundays. And, um, you know, there's so much that we put into it, you know, leading up to the game with our preparation, you know, our hard work on the field and, you know, mentally, mentally just being in the games. 
But, um, you know, it, it was definitely a spoiler for me. You know, I was spoiled in the beginning of my career. I thought, okay, this is how it's going to be all the time. You know, we're just going to win games. Occasionally might have a loss. Okay, we'll put that one on the back burner. And we'll keep on going and winning games. But uh, it's not like that. You know, it's hard. You know, it's, it's hard work. And, uh, I mean, you take a guy like Jason Witten, you know, I mean, never been to that game. Never been to that game in his career. You know, and, um, you know, it's hard. That shows you right there that it's hard work. What was Harbaugh like? as a head football coach, of course, is now at Michigan. Oh, he was excellent. He was, he was great. And uh, I used to love sitting down with Coach Harbaugh. You know, at each meal, each meal, he would have a glass of milk. I, would, I've heard that, and I was curious if that was a fact or not. So what's his deal with milk? I don't know. He just, you know, I guess his dad, you know, always told him, hey, drink your milk and you'll be big. So <laughs> it really stuck with him, you know, as many years later as you want to add. But um, he, was, he was great. You know, he'd sit down with you. Hey, how's your family doing? And uh, immediately, you know, turn to sports. You know, he was a sports fanatic. And uh, I think that's what made him so great. You know, he loved football, loved sports in general, and uh, loved being around the players. This guy's definitely got a future in television. So when we come back here on Inside the Huddle, we've got one of our amazing sponsors joining us on stage, and I am going to help him put together some film because he, I think, in a couple of years down the road, Joe, you know, I think you need to be up on the desk there joining the Michael Irvins of the world, the Troys, the Daryl Johnsons. What say you? Oh, I appreciate it. Let's do it. <laughs> Stick around. Inside <laughs> the Huddle is coming right back. We all want to eat healthy, but eating enough fruits and vegetables every day is not only time consuming, it's expensive. That's why at Texas Superfood, we've created a blend of the best USDA organic fruits, vegetables, powerful enzymes, probiotics, and all natural herbs in a convenient capsule or a powder. We call it Texas Superfood Complete Organic. If you can't, won't, or don't eat all of your fruits and vegetables every day, Texas Superfood Complete Organic makes eating healthy easy. Go to TexasSuperfood.com today. old collections appearing as new collections on your credit report? This is a common tactic used by creditors and junk debt buyers. Did you know when they changed the date making that collection account look new, that tactic is illegal and they broke the law? Our computer system has been holding creditors accountable to the law for over a decade. If this is happening to you or someone you know, or you'd just like to have a consultation to find out what you can do to improve your score, call DNG Credit LLC, the Credit Cops, here to protect and serve your credit score. Hi, my name is Joshua Jones, and my story began probably like a lot of yours are right now, where I was in dental pain, and I had several options, but I'd heard the amazing reputation of Dr. Lee and his staff and Crystal Creek Dental, and so I decided to move forward with dental implants and use them, and I'm glad I did. I can't say enough good things about them. Uh, Dr. Lee's great. Not only am I out of pain, I feel good about my smile. Love Dr. Lee, love the, uh, the staff at Crystal Creek Dental, and uh, I highly recommend them. Again, so proud to be a part of this in its 27th season, 11th here at House of Blues. And this week's sponsor spotlight is brought to you by Texas Superfood and Dr. Dennis Black. And I, as I'm getting older, and I hate to admit that, I, I'm constantly looking for ways to make sure that I'm at, at the top of my game, you know, that I've got, that my health is where it needs to be. If you tell me it's a supplement that works, I'm buying in, but you found something that worked for yourself. Absolutely, it's how we created it 35 years ago. I had stage four cancer and um, I was, didn't do chemotherapy or radiation. And I found the power of fruits and vegetables actually could heal my, my, my body. And uh, so that's kind of how I got started with the whole thing way back then. And then probably it took me 15 years to really kind of perfect that and uh, figure out a way that we could put it 
uh, in a form that that people could take because people have busy lives they just don't have time to juice all day and clean the juicers and all that stuff so what we did was we took 55 organically grown vine ripened fruits and vegetables we harnessed the power of those and we put it in a capsule or a powder so that people could get the benefit without taking all day to do it it's very expensive too so i'm fascinated by this you were told by the doctors you had stage four cancer right didn't have no you, you, avoid, no radiation. you avoided the chemo and the radiation because they told you you it had... It wasn't even available. Okay. For my particular kind of cancer, which was kidney cancer, and it had already spread to my lymphatic system, they said there's nothing we can do for you. Nothing is available. And to this day, believe it or not, that particular kind of cancer, there's still nothing they can do for it. So people said, so how do you beat cancer? And I told them it's the three Ps. Prayer, positive attitude, and powerful nutrition. And so you were... Obviously, the pill wasn't in its development at the time. No. And so you were just binging on every fruit and vegetable Juice. you could get your hand on. So you're Juice. juicing Mostly a lot. green vegetables, which are really nasty. Let me just tell you. <laughs> they just really are. And the cost of it and keeping them fresh yes. and, and going to the produce. Right. We have a lot of professional athletes who really can't come out and say they take it for obvious reasons, but we have a lot of them that actually do take Texas Superfood because they said that not only does it give them extra stamina, but it helps them in the recovery phase. And where do people find the superfood that you speak of? So the reality is it's really easy. Um, uh, there's two places that you can get it. One is on texassuperfood.com and the other one is on Amazon. Wow. We're one of the top sellers on Amazon. Listen, and so I went through my juicing phase and it can get pretty messy. It's yeah. a lot of upkeep trying to clean out the bin when you're juicing. Have you ever tried the juicing thing? I've never, I've never done the juicing thing. Never, never got there, but you know, it's interesting, though, because, you know, as athletes, we're always trying to find, you know, we're always trying to find that edge, you know, right. what, what's going to get us to that next level. Right. And, uh, you know, it sounds like, you know, you figured it out. Sounds well, like you figured. Well, we, we didn't do much, honestly. What we've done is just take what nature provides, organically grown, vine ripened fruits and vegetables. Vine ripened is more important, believe it or not, than organic because nutrients come into the fruits and vegetables via the ripening process. So we take vine ripened fruits and vegetables that are organically grown and we pull out all the nutrients and that's what's live nutrients is what's in the product. And when people take it, I mean, people have made all kinds of claims about what this product does for them. We don't, we don't say that, right? We don't make any claims about what it does. Six. But, but you never know what it's going to do until you try it. Right? That's what you have to do. Goes to Amazon Prime account right now. Yep. Places order. <laughs> you, can actually get, you can actually get it by tomorrow. I love it. Well, Dr. Disblack, we appreciate your sponsorship. We appreciate your time here with us on Inside the Huddle. You guys, our live audience, you give us the energy, the enthusiasm. It helps make this show go every week. We'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in to Inside the Huddle. Thank you, Joe, for coming to Inside the Huddle. Thank you guys for having me. Shake and bake. <laughs> Inside the Huddle has been presented by Otterbox. Other sponsors of Inside the Huddle include Beacon Hill, Complete Customs, Crystal Creek Dental, D&G Credit, The Credit Cops, El Mayor Tequila, Lone Star Neurology, North Texas Contracting, Star Travel and Tours, Stellar, Taylor Made Heat and Air, Texas Superfood, Thompson Law, Trendy Marketing, Two Choice Benefit Specialists, and Extreme Wraps of Texas.